Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new Napoleon Total War Online Battle sent in once again by good friend of the channel Carl Von Clausewitz and today's battle is genuinely one of the most aggressive and brutal flanking maneuvers I have ever seen in this game. I cannot wait to show it to you. We have the alliance of the Ottoman Turks versus the Portuguese at the top of the hill. We have the Spanish down in the basin alongside the British here as well. In terms of the rosters, guys, I'm not going to go through them because you guys all turn off when we do that. But uh, the Portuguese play a pretty standard army, a couple of light infantry and some grenadiers. Um, the Turkish army led by Karl von Clausewitz is pretty much all the Kadet infantry and the mounted Nizam e Kadet. The British army does have some rifles with a few of the light foot as well, mainly foot apart from the Connaught Rangers and some foot guards. Um, as well and then the Spanish is a big mix with the majority of their infantry coming in the fusiliers so as you can see the Spanish player actually had some of the gorillas on top of the hill ready to go before the battle even started which I think is a fantastic tactic a very good tactic if you are on this map yourself with the British player uh, coming to support him as well with Carl over here as the Ottomans coming down the hill with loads of cavalry. Look how much Nizam e Kadet mounted cavalry there is. Loads of them. Uh, and the Portuguese player over here just standing off with the Spaniard. And here go the first shots of the battle from the rifles and the squares of the British. So let's get down into the square here, shall we? Oh, the square is running away. The square is going. And so are the cavalry. You can see stakes have been placed down here so what do you do in this situation guys well there's a couple of things you can do you can have a stalemate forever which um is kind of happening over here with the spaniards and the portuguese a little bit of a stalemate here go the light infantry running away and that is the spanish cavalry absolutely devastated look at that i am surprised that they have not run uh, already bit of friendly fire going on there but um yeah a little bit of a stalemate you can wait for it for someone to make a move and just see what happens but of course that is not the active decision to make all you can do what carl does in this battle and uh, go for maximum speed and violence <laughs> which um yeah when we get to it that is going to be incredibly fun you can already see that the uh, the cavalry is maneuvering around as the Brit British player brought two dragoons units, which honestly the British in uh, in on uh, in online at least do not get very good cavalry in this game. That is their main detriment um, to the British in the uh, multiplayer. Is their cavalry is no good really because the best most OP units in online are these mounted units because as you can see you can just charge in for a little bit of a shot at the foot guards and run away or the foot already whittling them down and here comes the infantry just marching slowly for now but don't be afeared for that is just a ruse my friends that is just a ruse the rifles maneuvering into position as there is just pretty much a massive stalemate up here i don't even know what this guy's doing i think he's just watching what's happening on the left hand flank to see what may happen for him the amazing thing about this cavalry guys this mounted cavalry with rifles like the chasseurs for france is that you can do stuff like leave them across here bring them around and just absolutely savage squares you don't need to charge them in they are very very good dip in fire come out and as you can see a couple of the units are on the way and that is the start of the plot to attack well we've waited a little bit guys and here goes the infantry no longer marching we are charging right now nothing's happening on top of the hill so all of the action is going to come on this flank as you can see a nice large line for the british here but it is kinked so it is kinked and what's that what that's going to do is expose the british on this part of the line because these troops are going to be able to engage it without too much support from the left-hand flank. And here comes the cavalry. Instantly, you can see, 
breaking up onto the foot guards and firing on them. Come on, boys, get reloaded. Are they reloaded? Yes, there we go. Straight in the foot guards. There we go. Here comes more mounted cavalry. He's basically using this mounted cavalry as another infantry. And once again, if we take a textbook look at the map at the top corner, you can see that massive sweep around uh, around the uh, British player here. And here goes, straight down the line. Come on, boys. Charge, infantry charge. He's getting in very close. So he's sacrificing the first volley for a more accurate volley. And this is also a really good tactic that you can have. Of course, the British infantry is a very accurate and highly regarded infantry unit in the game, the standard British infantry. Um, so that is why he has to get his Ottoman troops in a little bit closer. There is some fighting going on at this flank. Mainly the Portuguese player probably just trying to stop the Spanish Sir, from... Sir, um, our general is under attack. Well, wait for that. <laughs> trying to stop the Spanish player from supporting the British lines here. But here go the Dragoons. Very nice little square that was made there. But he does have mounted Cadet infantry in behind. That is going to be a bit of a struggle for Carl to deal with, but he is going to get be able to get rid of those Dragoons rather quickly. Uh, and as you can see, at the moment, it looks like the British player is winning this thing. Like, it looks like he is able to push them back, but wait until Carl gets in the swing of things. Up here, the Spanish just firing down on the Portuguese infantry down here who are losing a lot of men but this is just preliminary engagements just testing each other out to see what is going to go down but here go the nizam e cadet infantry once again in to the uh, close quarters and they are going to be putting the pain down upon the british but this is a pivotal moment here disruption of the lines with the cavalry a sacrificial lamb of a cavalry unit and you can see the uh, the mounted units are just waiting just waiting for the right moment to strike but that was a great charge that is going to allow carl to continue marching forward you can see the foot guards which is an insanely good unit is pretty much down to nothing 32 men they can't even form square anymore there is a lot of um casualties happening on carl's side but as you can see, it's all worth it. He's formed square in the middle. That is going to allow these units to get absolutely decimated. And the British player is already falling back, even though he is also uh, presenting a significant amount of pressure on the lines of Carl. Meanwhile, further up the hill, we have the Portuguese marching in on the Spanish troops. But with these double, lined, double lines, the Spanish troops should be able to get a few more shots off. Unfortunately, though, they are not actually in range here. And here we go. Here's the big move. This is the big flanking move, my friends. Look at that massive cavalry. Here it comes. Hallelujah. Welcome to the pain zone, my friends. If this happens to you, this is the pain zone. Because if you have a lack of cavalry and you are getting flanked this much, there is very little you can do to rectify this situation and he's just going to fire at the spanish cavalry and get rid of them and as you can see bringing this cavalry in you can kind of get rid of squares pretty easily there's another square by the foot let's watch these nizam cadets i'm assuming they're going to fire at the square hopefully they are you got to fire men there we go i actually fired left i think didn't do much damage even though they did but here comes a charge from the foot a glorious charge volley straight in their face they are not going to like that. They are already wavering. And here comes more of the cavalry getting absolutely ruined uh, by the Turks here. So, on to the, uh, the top of the hill. And this is actually a bit of a mess, as you can tell, guys. Portuguese cavalry has gone into the lines, but there is oh, only two of them left. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a mess going on up here. It's kind of a, a stalemate and a... Just, just to hold the Spanish in place. Because if the Spanish come down the hill now, you could split the two armies in two and destroy this Turkish army uh, piecemeal, this Ottoman army piecemeal. But here we go. We see the power of the mounted Nizam Ikeda infantry once again, just firing into the Connaught Rangers. 
and they're also here as well. I mean, as you can see, the infantry of the Ottomans is getting absolutely devastated. In fact, the British player still has a lot of the infantry, but it is the cavalry that are really the power on the pyramids today. The power of the pyramids. This is an insane flank because when you think about it, Carl running, has basically sacrificed his infantry to win this engagement here. And a lot... Look how few infantry units he's got left. He's got pretty much nothing. But uh, with this cavalry, he's able to exert maximum influence on the result of this battle um, over here. Up in the far of the uh, top left of the map. Top right for us <laughs> of the map. You can see the Portuguese player has now withdrawn a little bit now that he is no longer needed to hold the flanks of the uh, of the Spanish. But look at that. Look on the map. Now it is fully a envelopment of the flank. And just look at him running rampant through the troops here. The Connaught Rangers running away. Very, very few times was this ever seen in real life. The Connaught Rangers running away a uh, brutal uh, British regiment in the army. But here he comes. You can see, just look how few infantry is left. But this is a good lesson, guys, for all of us, that uh, you don't need to, uh, you know, you can sacrifice units in this game uh, if you are going to be successful. It's a very aggressive tactic uh, as we go into the Dragoons fighting the cavalry there. It is an insanely aggressive tactic, but it is a tactic that can work. Look at this. Point blank in the faces of the men here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Not what you want to see if you are a mounted Nizami Kadet infantry uh, cavalry unit. But he is just going to disrupt that there with uh, some of these damaged units here. Our As you can see, for... very few units left. And the uh, British player is just in square because of the cavalry. Uh, and that, of course, is causing him uh, considerable pain in the volley battle over here. Far up in the, uh, the I don't think we'll call this the right-hand side. The right-hand side of the map, um, we are seeing that the, uh, the Portuguese player is coming forward a little bit. But these squares of the British are just getting absolutely savaged here. And the cavalry has met its match. Finally, there is still a couple of units of the cavalry left, but they are in considerable hurt. Now, they have done a lot of the heavy lifting of this battle, and uh, there we go. You can see, though, the Spanish player still has a ton of troops, and so does the Portuguese. So not all is lost for this side. If you even have a look down on this side, I believe these guys are red, or are they blue? can't remember. I think these guys are red. So it even says that the Spanish and British player are ahead right now. But here comes the Portuguese coming to smash the enemy. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Look at that volley. That was absolutely savage. Oh, I love that. I love that. Let's see if we can... Oh, I was going to see if we could get a nice little... Um, uh, little thing in there. Oh, this is a shot. This is the shot we need, guys. This is a shot we need. Look at that. Glorious Spaniards fighting against the uh, the Ottomans. And yeah, the, I mean, the British player could still be putting considerable pain down on the enemy here, as the Portuguese player is closing in with the troops. I'm not sure whether this the Portuguese and the Spanish player were relatively newer to the game, because a lot of these formations are, are quite first. messy. I mean, uh, you've seen my battles, so I can't really say much, guys. <laughs> but as you can see, the Spanish player is getting smashed back. And I believe at this point, somewhere around here, the uh, the Spanish and the British player are going to quit. So it will freeze. But it has been a glorious flank. And the Portuguese and uh, Carl, of course, thoroughly in the ascendancy. What a glorious battle. And I think a lot of lessons for us. Look at the lines of dead down here. Look at the lines of dead men. A lot of lessons for us in this, in the fact that you can sacrifice a whole portion of your army as long as you keep that momentum going forward as the Ottomans charge up the hill here as well. Look how tired these grenadiers are though. Look how slow that they are going. 
and all that's left is a couple of the British squares and this massive melee of Spanish uh, Spanish versus Portuguese troops. Don't think the infantry are going to win that one though. As you can see, the Spanish, uh, the Portuguese player still has an absolute load of troops left in this battle. Because um, Carl's troops are pretty, uh, pretty done. And uh, he may have forgotten about his general here. <laughs> Look at that. The Brits getting a, a cheeky little oh, volley off. I don't think that's going to save the Brits or the Spanish overall. Because all they've got left is this and that. And... Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Portuguese have all of this, which is a lot, <laughs> let's be honest. But there we go. There it has frozen. So I would assume that these players have, uh, have quit at this point. So a glorious little battle. I mean, still on a knife edge in the end, but I'm assuming uh, that the uh, Portuguese and, of course, Carl would definitely win this battle with the amount of troops they have left. They've got a serious amount of troops. They'd have to really screw up not to uh, win this but a glorious battle guys i hope you did enjoy a nice quick one on the pyramids and i just loved that flanking movement let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had a flanking maneuver quite as good as that one that was absolutely glorious and just so savage and brutal sacrificing troops for the momentum of the overall army really really nice to see that but thank you very much for watching guys if you have enjoyed a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated it does really help the channel out and i will see you all again on the next video